Well, this video is intended to give you an overview of the San Diego County EMS protocol book. Opening it up on the first page, we see some information about the handbook itself and the table of content, patient bill of rights, very important to understand what's written in here. But again, this is just an overview. So we'll keep going. These are your adult standing orders, communication failure, ALS and BLS protocols. Now, we are primarily concerned with the BLS protocols. If, so this will go through all of the protocols for the different types of chief complaints people present with. Start off with abdominal discomfort, and we continue through airway obstruction, allergic reaction, anaphylaxis. You are responsible for knowing the entire BLS protocol for every single one of these blue pages and every single one of these yellow pages. So it goes through more or less in alphabetical order. The number up here is important. This is the date it was updated. The blue pages are for adults. The yellow pages are for pediatrics. Pediatrics in this county is typically anyone of the age of 15 or younger. So these are the pediatric standing orders. They look much like the blue pages. Again, you have your BLS section on the left, your ALS section on the right. We need to know the BLS stuff. The next section is skills. So the orientation kind of flips here. There are some BLS skills, particularly this flow chart that we need to be familiar with. So this is your spinal motion restriction algorithm. We'll talk all about this when we get to your trauma section. Pulse oximetry, this is something that is a BLS skill. Carbon monoxide, CO monitoring, that's also a BLS skill. So mark these pages. Paralaryngeal airway adjuncts. So I would get familiar with these few pages here. These are the Combitube schematics and the King Airways schematics. This tourniquet skill is BLS. So indications, principles of action, procedures. There's a lot of really good information here. A few of the different types of tourniquets you might see. This is the most common one. And then over here we have our quick clot combat gauze. That is also a BLS level skill with the indications, contraindications, special info. Tells you a little bit about it. Cardiac, mostly ALS. Rhythm interpretation, something we'll not be discussing in the EMT class. This, however, you will be asked as a BLS level EMT sometimes to place a 12 lead. Get familiar with the 12 lead placement. Ventricular assist devices and total artifact heart. I have been asked questions about these devices in interviews. San Diego County Paramedic Association educational materials. This is a differential diagnosis section on chest pain. So chest pain's a chief complaint that's very common. We talk about it quite frequently in our class. This tells you a little bit more about it. It has a little bit of ALS mixed in, but there's a lot of really good information here. ALS medications, obviously not something we are going to concern ourselves with. Home medication section. This one is actually very relevant. On the first page, you have your antipsychotics, very common medications with both their trade name and their brand names, tricyclic antidepressants, narcotic analgesics, and anticoagulants. This is a fantastic reference page and something that gets used quite a lot. This is your substance abuse chart. It gives you information on commonly abused substances, things that people uh, are either found doing or overdose on. Descriptions on all of them it continues on the other side here. And then this is a handy reference for different types of medication by their brand name and then also their trade name. So, and then it tells you a little bit of what it's for and why it's prescribed. Policy and reference section. One of the most important but oftentimes overlooked sections of the protocol book Introduction tells you a little bit about what a BHPO is, base hospital physician order, pediatric special considerations. This is a very important page right here, glossary of terms. It's very worth marking this page and getting familiar with these terms. Common abbreviations. And it continues on the other side. BLS and ALS ambulance inventory. Annual inspections ensure that each ambulance is up to standards. So it starts off with BLS and then it introduces ALS components. Pre-hospital determination of death. These five criteria are something that you should know. However, the rest of it is a little more oriented towards ALS personnel. Physician on scene. What happens if you 
can't communicate with a base hospital prior to transporting a patient to the ER, you need to fill out paperwork, variations, these are again for ALS, we're not worried about that. Reporting a suspected child, dependent adult, or elder abuse and neglect, the procedures that you have to go through when documenting that. Against medical advice, this explains some of that terminology to you. Triage, multi-casualty incidents, sometimes also called Annex Ds. DNR end-of-life options. Base hospital contact criteria for emergency patients. Application of patient restraints. Fireline paramedic. This is a very important section, the EMT scope of practice. This tells you exactly what you can do in this county. If it's not written on here, you can't do it. Advanced EMT scope of practice. There aren't too many advanced EMTs in this county. Identification of the trauma center patient. So there's this introductory section and then using this trauma decision algorithm, this determines who actually goes to a trauma center and who goes to a regular ER. When to use air medical support, otherwise known as an air ambulance. EMS at special events, ALS first responder inventory, infectious diseases and precautions. I suspect we'll be seeing an update to this after this COVID, but it tells you signs and symptoms, transmission route, communicable period, and prevention, as well as the disease type, universal precautions, common lab values. More common lab values, more common lab values, medical Spanish just very basic Spanish to communicate if you're a non-Spanish speaker with our Spanish speaking population. Crisis resource numbers, emergency services, phone list, all the different ambulance services, local EMS training, there's us. Miscellaneous, law enforcement, fire dispatch, aeromedical, these are the air ambulances I was talking about. And then we also have the fire department phone list. All of these bolded hospitals are base hospitals. We'll talk more about that as we progress through the semester. That's pretty much it. Towards the very back, we have the APGAR scoring and the GCS, which again, we'll talk about all of that later. So this was an introduction to the San Diego County EMS protocol book.